guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Family Day, happy belated Valentine's Day. If you're new and you enjoy this video, please don't forget on your way out to hit that subscribe and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release new content. And if you're returning, well, of course, welcome back. So, we spent a lot of time inside lately for obvious reasons, and uh, I guess I got kind of bored and I thought, you know what, spring's almost here. I think it's time for an update on the old Gen 8 Axe. I know what you're saying. Some of my friends said the same thing. Dude, retire the Axe body? Really? I love your Axe. I love that body. The detail that you did with the decals, like, I love that. And I love it too. And that's why I want to preserve it, actually. Anyways, it's time for something new. We're gonna get into the differences on why I did this and how I did it, what I did exactly, because I think, I mean, as far as I know, I'm the first to do something like this. Well, let me explain. Let me take you down and get a closer look at these two. So, yes, uh, I'm retiring this body because I had a lot of plans that I wanted to do with a new body. So here's the new body that I put on. It's more or less complete now. I've just actually finished putting my RCWC Ontario plate on the back end here. Now you'll notice the rally decal. First of all, let me explain. I love things that when you first look at them, they're kind of like, eh, so what? You know, it's just like every other one until you, you really pay attention and then it jumps out and you're like, oh wow, yeah, that that's not like every other one. The example that I want to show by that is this decal that I created. Um, I got the best response on the trails for because people would say, oh, did you notice that guy's ax? And they'd look at it and they'd be like, yeah, it's an ax. And then their friend would remind them, how many axes come with the rally decal in carbon fiber? And then they take a closer look. I'm like, Damn, that looks sick. Because, <laughs> you know, it's really subtle and you don't even notice it that much in the shade. It's when the, the sun hits it and it reflects all the carbon fiber pattern. I think I got a nice shot of it actually and as an example in my opening, if you pay attention to that at all. So I love doing stuff like that. And I love finding stuff like that too, because it gives me ideas. So over here, you'll notice uh, I did a decal. It's not carbon fiber. And it's not a decal. <laughs> Technically, it was a decal. It was a scotch tape decal from the inside before I had painted this puppy. That's right, guys. I masked the rally decal off from the inside before I shot it. I painted in uh, door panels uh, that matched the color of the seats and this wooden deck that I had laid in with uh, what looks like aluminum strapping, all painted from the inside. None of this will ever scratch off. Well, I mean, it might flake off from the inside. It will never get scratched off from the outside, which is what I really wanted. Every time I put a scratch or damage in this decal, it hurt, man. <laughs> it was like, I spent a lot of time making this, man, and it's like, missing stuff now and you know it's getting really beat up because I want I kind of want to preserve this before it gets too destroyed sentimental to me if you will I did some interior paint I don't know if I regret but it does scratch pretty easily so I don't think I'm going to be putting drivers in this vehicle which will lighten it because I have also added a lot of weight to the actual car lately and that's going to be another video but i've got some really cool updates for it uh, some aluminum some brass the truck weighs more than 10 pounds without a battery and that's with no added weight anywhere like i don't have any lead weights in the tires or anything like that it's all just parts that have given it weight so i had lights in the dash in the old body and i also put them in here I put two of them as green lights to match kind of the outside and then the, the speedometer and the radio I made like just a regular. You'll notice uh, on my old one, I have my very own homemade marker lamps. Instead of doing this, I simply masked off the marker lights before I painted it. And I installed 
these little uh, housings that house three millimeter bulbs, I, I epoxied them to the inside so that you just snap the bulb in. It's almost like a bucket for these marker lights. The first time I took it out, the first reaction was, well, oh, you did a new body. I'm like, yeah, that uh, rally decal's painted. And people went, what? What? That's sick. It looks great. I, I love that reaction. I love it. I love it. Because I agree. There are some mistakes. Like here, here. Oh, the colors I used, by the way, are PS22, Racing Green, and PS52, which is the champagne aluminum for the actual rally decal. Before I shot it with any color, and here's where I kind of made a mistake. I kind of messed it up because I overdid it, and I'll explain. I used a matte finish. I've already done a matte finish on the purple Mustang body that I did for Baby. Uh, what I did was I masked off a racing stripe. I shot it with the matte and I peeled off the racing stripe and shot it in one color. The whole body was matte and then, and then the stripe on the body was not matted, but with the same color. And, and that stripe at the certain angle, it would disappear and then it would just pop right in your face at a different angle. And that's kind of what I wanted to get here. Unfortunately, I used too much of the matte finish. I put like two cans of the matte on before I sprayed my color. And as a result, it didn't really matte much out. I had masked off the International Harvester symbol right on the hood, the I going through the H. But you can't really see the matte kind of glossied itself up because I use too much. That's one uh, thing that I learned the hard way. Maybe you don't have to if you watch this. So if you're gonna use that matte finish on the inside of a body, don't use more than one can of it for a whole body because it will get too thick and as a result, you won't, you won't actually see that, that sort of matte reflection through the body. I know that most people use the matte finish on the outside of a body. I know, you don't have to yell at me guys, I know this. But with my experience, it also works on the inside if used properly. Yeah, so that's what I did for this body. Now, I think it turned out great. Made a couple of mistakes because I sprayed the aluminum a little bit too thick. Wound up making the, which was kind of partially dry green at the time, start to run a little bit. If I don't point it out, most people don't see it, so. I'm, I'm happy. This is the new look. This is what you will see from now on on my Gen 8 Axe Edition. But I already got some footage of it out on the trail, so uh, let's see how it looks in the sun. Get your beer cold. guys I hope you enjoyed that little short uh, trail run with the new body on uh, if you have any questions about either of these bodies please don't hesitate to ask 
in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer. I know that a lot, my head has been cut off for a lot of this. I wanted these bodies to be the focal point of this video anyways. Uh, and I appreciate you for watching. And I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you'll hit the bell. And I hope you'll see my next video because we have some pretty awesome uh, parts, upgrade parts for this thing. Till next time, guys, whatever you're doing, keep on RCing, keep on keeping on.